My name is Thomas Honig. Uh, we're here at GTI Spindle Technology to go over our iPad vibration analyzer lineup for 2013. Uh, we've got many other videos posted on the web right now uh, showing different uh, balancing apps and different uh, attributes of our Vibe Pro application, but uh, this video is intended to go over everything in a whole to answer as many questions as possible. Uh, what I have here, just quickly to start, is an iPad Mini, which is definitely part of our lineup. It uses the same exact two-channel DAQ as its bigger brother, the iPad fourth generation. I just quickly wanted to demonstrate here, we can actually, we have both my accelerometer and tachometer hooked up to the unit right now, but I wanted to show simply with a quick pinch here, you can pull the two units apart, leave your electronics and your uh, sensors behind, and pull your iPad away from the kit, and then simply snap it back together, and uh, both work uh, equally the same way for both Big Brother, which is the iPad fourth generation, and the Mini. And we're also, just to quickly demonstrate, we're also on both units using the new Lightning Cord, uh, which is Apple's new, newest addition to their lineup. As I demonstrated the case, uh, as well as being very durable in the two-channel box, I also want to note we're for 2013, we're coming out with a new coiled cord rather than the long 10-foot uh, cord that would drag on the ground. This is also unconditionally guaranteed for life, both on the cord, accelerometer, and connectors. Uh, so as we made the case very durable, we've also made the cords very durable and uh, guaranteed for life unconditionally. So, going a little further into our hardware, um, you'll see on the screen behind me, I've got a quick tutorial or setup of our Vipro software, which will show all the different attributes of what that can do, which is acceleration and velocity, both in inches per second and millimeters per second. We, if you notice on the bottom, we cover all the be different bearing defect frequencies or RPM markers that we would look to use in any analysis. Uh, but also the biggest attribute of Vipro is its reporting function. We can actually do a report directly from the unit uh, by simply hitting the report button that flashes us into the report field. We can actually take a photo of our data point and then send that either up to Dropbox to the cloud to be pulled back down or it has a setting that we can save directly to the device itself and then later hook up to a computer PC and download all of the data, our plant data, onto our PC and then into our porting macro that we have available as well, which is on the Excel platform. Um, secondly, I'd like to also put up Vibe Trend, which works hand in hand with Vibe Pro. Vibe Trend actually t pulls the data back down from the cloud, the Dropbox cloud, into, you know, from Dropbox where we've sent it from Vibe Pro and we're able to plot out a nice graph of where the data started and where it seemed to escalate, escalate, and escalate and go further as our assets decrease and get higher amplitudes in both velocity and acceleration. So very seamless way that we work our, our reporting and our trending is all done up in the cloud so that it can be pulled down at any time and you can observe through Vibe Trend or Dropbox. The other one that I'd like to pull up is our Excel macro. After we've taken a full plant's worth of data, it can be either saved directly on the iPad or up in Dropbox, can be pulled down with a simple click of a button by hitting plant data button on the iPad. We can pull that into a CSV file, which can then be emailed or just taken directly from the device through iTunes back to your PC. And you can load that CSV and then pull it into a full report that you see here, which is our Excel macro that I spoke about earlier. So all your plant data uh, that you're collecting out in the field, you don't have to go back to a PC and load it down to do, and pull all the data together for a report. It's all done in the cloud, simply emailed. You drag and drop that CSV file into this macro, and this is what you've got. All of your machines in red, uh, how many machines are in yellow, and how many are in the green field by ISO standards. And I also want to mention that a lot of these ISO specs in our apps can be customized so that if you have special assets or equipment that might not be in the ISO scale grade, you can enter your own ISO scale grade 
there as well. Which brings me into the next app, which is called iViber Meter. And this is used for certification of pumps, motors, all kinds of different assets. And it also can be customized so that you can set your red, yellow, green, and even blue settings of where uh, ISO standards may be. We've got a selection of five different uh, selections of ISO specs, but you can also enter in and customize your own. And this particular app is used specifically for people that are in the field that actually have to certify a motor or certify a pump. And <clears throat> as you'll see in the next picture here, it pulls out a beautiful report and shows where in that ISO grade scale your particular asset in the field has, has fell. And it also tells you geographically on the map where you took that asset reading. It also gives the overalls in both acceleration and velocity. And this is a uh, glossary tutorial I'm doing here. We can get more in depth if uh, you reach us at GTI. But this gives you a real good example of the quality reporting that comes right from the device. And you can email it right to your home office or a supervisor for immediate move uh, so that you can move on to your next asset. One other thing that we want to show you is our application on balancing. I don't want to skip that. As you can see, uh, this is what the front page of the balancing app looks like. But as you can see, when we open the app, we can look at both the polar plot and the spectrum at any given time while we're balancing. So that, that achieves two things. One, if we have uh, multiple frequencies that are interfering in what we're trying to balance at the one times running speed, we can actually dial into with our spectrum right into the running speed and make sure that that's all we're looking at. That if we're balancing a 3600 RPM motor or pump, we're only looking at 3600 RPM. And then we can simply click a button, swap back to the polar plot, and immediately know where our heavy spot is. Now as you see, we can toggle through all the different other fields and add weight so that we know exactly where to remove weight and how much. Uh, an operator can simply, on its first run, know exactly where that heavy spot is in order to start making corrections to make sure that that, velo that amplitude of that running speed is, is heading in the right direction. Now, if you notice, we can both do single and dual plane balancing in the field. We also have customers that have hooked up our iPads directly to their balancing stanchions and use this as a substitute to their electronics that may lo no longer be uh, healthy anymore on their balancing equipment. So uh, we very much want to invite you into looking towards this unit, not only as a full functioning vibration analyzer, but also as a balancer. And just a few more things to add toward the end of our video here is we do have temperature gauges. We also have oscilloscope uh, plugs that hand hook into our DAQ so that this can be used as an oscilloscope. And we also have a full functioning multimeter, uh, which is wireless as well as the unit functions with FLIR and actually wirelessly as you're taking your thermo thermography pictures they're actually automatically downloaded to the iPad as you go. So as a unit to be used in the predictive maintenance field this is what we think is a great platform to cover all the different bases in predictive maintenance. And we hope you'll visit us at GTI Spindle at www.gtispindle.com and uh, give us a call at any time at 603-669-5993. Uh, and thank you for your attention.